Hey, Sandra. Hello. Uh, how are you? Hey, How's you? everything? Uh, everything is good. All right, hold on. Let me fix my camera real quick. Okay. So what's that? What do you have for dinner? Oh, I ate just uh, chocolate with bread. <laughs> oh, okay. Chocolate and bread. Chocolate and bread. Bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well. And a bunch of pills. <laughs> a bunch of pills. What? What sort of pills? Yeah. They are certainly special pills just for my intestine. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you're good. We're gonna wait for everybody else. So how do you feel so far? How do you feel about the class and everything so far? I was thinking about the classes and at this moment, I think they're, they are the best classes I have ever taken. Why is that? <laughs> well, thank you, but why is that? It's because you are very uh, strict and you are always checking our, our advance or something. Oh, for, like. for your mistakes? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some people don't like it when you know we're too strict, but but you know, as long as you know you you don't feel uncomfortable, I think it's okay to be strict, right? You know. For me, it's uh, okay. Strictly not, right? Very good. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that, Sandra. Uh, Eric. Hello, Eric. Hey, hello. Teacher. How's it going? How was how was how was your hello. day? What do you have for dinner? Uh, well, what I, what I ate was uh, just milk and some bread. Okay, milk and bread. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh, you know what? I, 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 yes. I think I'm going to have, I had like, I had two salads. I had two Caesar salads. You know, those Yummy. big salads from Wendy's. Oh, really? I had mm -hmm. two of those. <laughs> I'm like yeah. full right now. Yeah. Um, they, they are delicious. Yeah, I love yeah. I love Caesar salad. I just ate. I just drink. Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yes, Did I just, just drink, drink a, a glass of milk and a drink. Uh, I drink a glass of milk and uh, some bread just because I ate uh, juca today in the afternoon. So I'm a little uh, full. All right. I, want, I didn't want to eat. Yeah, I, I eat too much in the afternoon. Okay. Doesn't right. happen to me too. <laughs> yeah, no, it it, <laughs> it 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 uh, I feel you, you know, it it happens, it happens, you know. But uh, that's great. So I was talking to Sandra, you know, about how you guys felt with the class so far. How do how do you feel so far, Eric? Like what? Are uh, I'm things? very good. What what I well, I have some issues with my with my internet. And when you speak, because you speak a little bit faster, and my internet it doesn't. <laughs> uh, well, my the velocity, the the velocity of the internet doesn't match with your speaking because sometimes I, I hear I hear very well and sometimes I don't. But the class is okay. You're teaching very you're teaching very good also, and the guys also are great. All right. Well, I'm glad to now hear that. Now you see, <laughs> I'm not the only one. Yeah, usually, guys, we have, like, we, we don't have, you know, these few people. We actually have, like, usually, like, 25 people. But I only have advanced now. In advanced, not many people, not many people go to advanced, you know. So that's why the, the classes are very small. But when it's a big class, you know, we have we have a lot of fun because people are, like, you know, they're crazier. But it's, it's cool. It's amazing fun. You know? All the time. <laughs> yeah. I re yes. Yes. I remember in the in the classes before, we were at least uh, fifteen people, or yeah. maybe twenty, and now the group is smaller. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. So, I mean, basic, you get like a lot of people there, and then from there you get, you know, you get less people. Usually, in intermediate, you get like twenty people, twenty-five people, but in advanced. In a, especially in advanced three, we don't have 
we don't have that many people, you know. We usually have like like four or five, you know, uh, connecting daily. Yeah. So, <laughs> go ahead. And I guess another thing that it has to do is that uh, for this course, you have to do the inscription by yourself. And the, and the other ones was the, the enterprise or the company, which did. But now you have to do it by yourself. And I guess that's why uh, um, that's why many people have, hasn't been here also. Okay, all right, very good. Okay, that's, that's also true. Hello, Laura, nice to see you again. Welcome Hello. back. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Very good, guys. Okay. Hey, uh, whatever happened to the link? By the way, Laura, you can use, I think you can use the same link that I sent you just now. We join evening. every day. All right. One. Uh, good evening, Emer. How are you? I'm uh, fine. <laughs> tired, but Oh, I'm you're fine. tired. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to continue, guys, where we left off from yesterday <sighs> there you go <laughs> i'm so tired today guys you have no idea all right so okay guys so let's 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 just uh do a quick review guys uh by the way laura if you want i well i promised you i would do this um i'm gonna give you the, the quick answers can you give me the sections where you need help with? Okay, just give me a minute, please. All right. You know, it's crazy, guys. I've been listening to, like, I, I'm not, you know, I like, I'm usually like a, a rock guy. So I listen to, I, I, I want, for once, I listen to, you know, English music only, right? My Luma. And then no, I, I don't listen to my Luma. To my Luma. I mean, if you like it, that's okay, right? But I, I don't. Um, but, but, you know, just like indie rock and things like that. So the strokes. But recently, I don't know why, guys, there is this song from Jose Jose. Like, I've never listened to Jose Jose. But there is like this, um, this uh, El Triste, dude. This is... I heard one of the live concerts and he's he's a god, he's he's crazy, you know. All right, very good, Laura. So which section is it? Uh, the part of unlike and while and stuff stuff that I didn't understand. Uh so we got the midterm, is it section D A B C D or E? E he is Okay, this is... No, 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 no. Just let me see. B. 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 B as in boy? Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, do my favor. Just take a screenshot, okay? I'm going to reveal the answers, guys. Ta-da! <laughs> All right. In case you wonder, okay, how I knew about the answers, okay? All right, so just take a screenshot, okay? Let me know when you're ready. Did you, did you take a screenshot? Um, yes. Okay, very good. All right, so let's go to part two and take another screenshot, please. You good? Yes. Very good. Thank you. All right, so anyways, uh, we went through the answers already, so if you want to know the explanation behind them, okay, uh, you can watch the classes, guys, online, by the way. I mean, the, the recording is on YouTube. All right, guys, so let's talk about, so we're going to continue from yesterday's topic, okay? So conditionals, guys, okay? So um, we're using, guys, okay, I left you this, this quiz yesterday, guys, okay? And this is about, by the way, guys, are you watching one screen or just, or two? One screen. Okay, very good. Because right. I got a lot of other, like a thousand things open in my other monitor right now. All right, guys, so so I left you this one, guys, okay, which is easier, okay? Yesterday, we were using, you know, the particles unless, only if, and even if, okay? So let's do a quick review. Um, Sandra, what did we use 
unless for? How can you simplify it? It's just for exceptions. Okay, very good. So for exceptions, okay, so we use mm -hmm. unless for exceptions. Let's see. All right. Unless, blah, blah, exceptions. Very good job. Good job, good job. Okay, very good. What do we use uh, only if for, Eric? Only if is when there is a condition. Very good. Okay, when there is a condition, right? Very good. And lastly, the easiest one. Emer, what do we use even if for? When the result doesn't change. Uh, don't want change. Remember, one, guys, when there is a surprise, two. when there is a, there is a surprise, there is a surprise, right? So mm -hmm. remember, so even if I travel to the United States, I wouldn't learn English. What is the surprise there? The surprise is that, you know, regardless, like even if I'm in a country where everybody speaks English, I'm still not able to practice, to learn it, to learn it right? Very good. Okay. Good, good job. Okay. All right, guys. So we did this one yesterday. We, you still have to do 10 more. All right. Uh, but let's get the answers from the first one, okay? Uh, so who'd like to give me number one? Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. All right, Claudia, do you do me a favor, please? Um, do you have the answer for number one? Yes. If I I is I was I was getting if I were you, if I were you, I could get a new job. Okay, remember, if I were you. I would I get. You, I would get a new job. Not not good. <laughs> it's, it's funny, guys. I I never understood no, why. It's no, it's not good. It's not good. No, it's good. Good. Very good. Good. <laughs> good. Good. It's just like when you say huevos. It's the same thing, guys. If you can say <laughs> huevos, and not huevos. All right, it is the same thing. <laughs> wood, 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 right? Huevos, wood. huevos. See, huevos, wood, right? Very good. Yeah, 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 All right, yeah. so that is absolutely great. Now, guys, why are we using here if I were you and not if I was you? Okay. Because it's because an imaginary it's... situation. Because, very good. Okay, the answer is because, all right, it's an imaginary situation, okay? Doesn't necessarily need to be imaginary. No, guys, okay? It could also be an unreal, unreal situation, right? Got it? Very good, guys. So if it is imaginary or unreal, then you use where, regardless of the subject, okay? Now, remember, guys, I gave you an example yesterday, right? Oh, if, if, uh, if Jimmy, if Jimmy was, was rude, I, or he should apologize, okay? All right, now why am I not saying if Jimmy were rude here? Why am I using was if Jimmy was rude? Because it's real. Because it's a real situation, right? It's not, he's apologizing for something. That's not, hold on. All right, he's apologizing for something that is not um, you know, something that he's imagining, right? That's that's a real situation. All right, very good. Number two, guys. Um, thank you, Claudia. Applause for Claudia, guys. Good job, Claudia. All right, very good. Click that ring. Very good. Uh, Emer, let's go, Emer. Number two. Number two. Let me sing. Let me sing. Are you going to sing me... a song? Okay. Why? You said you if, said let if, me sing. If, let me <laughs> let me see. <laughs> All okay. Right. If he were younger, okay, he will travel. If more. he were younger, he would would travel would travel, travel more. more. Now, can I can guys can I use a different model? Cool, true. <laughs> Very good, okay, you can use could, okay? He could travel more, right? Could I say he could travel more instead of he would travel more? Yep. Yeah. Very good, Why okay, not? you can say that, right? All right, let's change this for where. Uh, and this, I would, hold on. I would get, right? Very good. 
So yes, guys, you you can do that. Okay. All right, number three, uh, Eric. Uh, if uh, we're not friends. If we what? Uh, I'm sorry. I will be. If we are, if we were not friends. Very good. You can say if weren't. We were not friends. Everybody, repeat. If we weren't. weren't friends. Weren't. Weren't. Uh -huh. Weren't. If, if we were on friends, I would be angry with you. Very good. Okay. I would be angry with you. All right. Very good. Okay. Um, number four, Sandra. If I had enough money. If I had, very good, enough yeah, money. money. Uh -huh. I could buy a big house. I would buy or I could buy. Could can, buy. I, can I use another one? Sure. Can I say I might buy? I might buy. Yeah. I might buy a big house. Are you sure? If I had enough money, I might buy a big house. I might buy a big house. This is talking about a possibility in the future, right? So yes, you can use but, this. Okay. All right. Uh, number five. Uh, we're we're gonna get more time to practice, guys. So don't worry. Uh, Claudia, number five. Uh, number five. Even if, even if. She wasn't uh, always. I mean, it says no, no. Number five is is this word right here. No. Uh, uh, even if she wasn't always so late, she would no. be promoting. No, no, no. This is just just this is just using the clause if, okay, the if clause. Ah, okay. And without even. Yes. Uh huh. If she uh -huh. wasn't, if she wasn't. Mm -hmm. Always so late, she could be promoted. Prom she good. Promoted. She good. She, no, she will. She will. She will. She will. She will. <laughs> she, <laughs> would. Repeat would. Good. No, not good. Would. would. All right, very good. Okay, she would be promoted. Okay. Good job. Okay, now is, is there something wrong here, guys? Is there something that we we might need to correct? What do you think? There is something here that we need to correct, guys. In this sentence right here. The verb. Which verb? Wasn't. Very good. What's weren't. what's very good? Okay. Now, Claudia, why is this weren't? And now the was in here. Why teacher is the third person? Yeah, I know, I know, but why, why? I just explained it a couple of minutes ago. Imaginary situation, right? Imaginary situation or unreal situations, all right? So if, if, you know, you have an imaginary situation or in a real situation, then you have to use where. Got it? You should take note. <laughs> yes, Claudia? Uh, no? Oh. It, I, right. I thought that... I, I know that the third person using she I was, right? Be, yeah. Right. But this is only when you're talking about conditionals. If you if you are using, you know, a conditional, mm -hmm. all right? The structure of an imaginary situation is where, okay? Not was. Got it? So that's an exception. Okay. Kind of, all right, we're good. It, 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 it could be where for all subject, for all subject. For all subjects, yes. I, you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if I tell you this, okay, all right, mm -hmm. Laura, if I tell you, if I were you, I would feel awesome, okay? So if I say this, okay, if I were you, I would feel awesome. Is this I a, is that, so. is that, is that, is that, a, is that a, 
Is that an imaginary or is that an imaginary situation or is that a real situation? Claudia. Oh, well, Laura, I'm sorry, Laura. It's an imaginary situation. It's an imaginary situation. So that's the reason why. Just exists in your mind. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the reason why, Claudia, you use where and not was because it's imaginary, okay? Yes, yes. Right. So, so basically what I'm saying, uh -huh. you know, usualmente, guys, el, That's el, it, el verbo be in tercera persona se traduce a was, right? He was, he, it was, you know, he was. Pero cuando estamos usando un condicional, cada vez que vos decís, if, you know, si yo fuera tú, lo que sea, si yo ese fuera, you have to, uh, la, la traducción es uh, where. The reason why is because si yo digo, si yo fuera vos, obviamente yo no soy vos. Entonces, Es una situación irreal o imaginaria. Si es una situación irreal o imaginaria, tienes que usar where, no importa qué sujeto gramatical sea. All right? So that's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. Good job. Okay. All right. So let's work in teams, guys. And uh, let's complete exercise number, well, this 6 to 10 and from 11 to 15, okay? All right. So I'll uh, get the groups right now. Any questions, guys? No. All right. Hold on. Uh, I think this is good. I'll send the screenshot, guys. Don't worry. All right, guys. Okay. Uh, Hi, did, yeah. did you receive the the exercises? Yes. All right. Bro. Just one from yes. us. Both, both. Don't worry. Yes. Do me a favor, and uh, if Laura has any questions, please help her. Okay. Okay. With a, and also let her know like what topic we're seeing exactly. All right. Okay. Very good. Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Mm -hmm. if, if you have, if you have a better job, if you have, we uh -huh. could a better, we could be remember, able remember, to remember buy a new this job. Structure, Claudia, remember this structure. If you have a new job, all right. Let's be careful with the structure. Yes. Uh, do we remember the structure for, for present conditionals? Yes, it, you had, you had. Had, right? So we're talking in the past. Very good. We? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, have, have a... Mm -hmm. Oh, I think. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I think she has problems with the inner. But continue, Singmer. Hello, hello. Continue. With yes, the yes, eight. Let me. Yes. Can you continue with can you, which one? Can you continue with? Do you listen me, Ingmar? I listen to you. Ah, okay. 
uh, eh, number eight. Number eight. Uh, if I if I if I spoke perfect spoke, in, uh -huh. eh, I would have a good job. No, I would good. I I would would should would, would have have a good job. Yes. Good job. Mm -hmm. The next one is we if we is we live in Mexico. If we live uh -huh, in, in Mexico, Mexico, I will speak Spanish. I will. Hey, uh, I thought Carolina was here. What happened? Oh, no, just Eric. All right, hold on. Just listening, the guy's here. <laughs> I know, it's... I thought you were in here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm here listening to you guys. That's because and your I, name uh, disappeared from the, doing... from the group. Uh, really? Yeah, uh, it disappeared. I, just because I was, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the, the <laughs> screenshot. Okay, no, from the, I'm on the group from the... Oh, okay. group. That's why. So, can you respond to number nine? Number nine is, for mm -hmm. example, let's see. If we lived in Mexico, mm -hmm. I could speak Spanish. Yeah. Or, or I might speak Spanish. Yeah. Also. Hey, Carolina. Hi, teacher. People are waiting for you. What happened? I've been Good very afternoon. sick. Oh, Good okay. Night. All right. Yeah, I am take. I'm drinking. No, I'm taking some pills. Drinking some pills. Okay. Well, the thing is that they make me feel very dizzy, and I, I fall asleep without control. <laughs> I just okay. sleep. So that's why. But right. I'm here. I'm not right. that awake, but I'm here. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Uh, remember, attendance is very important, but uh, let's get to work, okay? So I, okay, you should have an invitation right now because people are working in breakout sessions right now. I, I did, I accepted, but I, uh, I don't know if it took me back to this. The okay, principal. All right, I'll get you. Yeah. Okay, accept this one and then I'll move you to the other room, okay? If she had more friends, she what if that's it? She would be happier if she had more she friends. Yeah. All right, I was moving Carolina around. All right, continue, guys. Okay. Uh, Laura, do we have any question, Laura? <laughs> no, just I was uh, watching that that let me see 11 it it doesn't start with if it okay. switch yep. yeah all right very good okay uh remember guys i need you working as a team right yes all right very good uh but yes laura you can uh, you can switch positions Go ahead. okay but at the at, at the beginning, I have to use a, an auxiliary, and in the middle, I have to use if. Hold on, hold on. Give me one second. All right, uh, which one are you? Hold on, that's not it. Uh, I think where the presentation is. I mean, one of you can share the screen if you want, guys. Okay, that, that would be okay. I'm on the cell phone. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I think um, so I, I did find the presentation. Okay. So which one are you talking about? From 11 to 15. From 11 when to the 15. Classes, when yes, the classes? Yes, I love that. I'm going to start with the class if. So there are two clauses. All right. <laughs> there is a, whenever you say if, this is the start of a, of a clause, Claudia, okay? 
all right? This is the if clause, and this is the main clause, okay? So we got main and if, okay? So these two things. Now, you can switch positions. The only difference is that when you use a main clause and an if clause, there is no comma, okay? But you can say if she had more friends, she would be happier. And you can also say she would be happier if she had more friends, all right? The only difference, if you put this first, if you put, if you uh, if you place this clause at the beginning of, of the sentence, okay, all right, this would have a comma, all right? All right, but yeah, it means exactly the same. You can switch it around, all right? And okay, it is the same. Very good. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. In the WhatsApp, teacher. Hello. Send the, Hello, the information. Hello. Yes, okay. I, I have I have them. I'm looking okay. right now the the sentence. Okay. All right. And I don't you know if it is if it is correct you to want say. To start? I mean, you can share okay. the screen if you want, guys. You can share. Your you screen. can start. Like, if I were you, I will get a new job. Is that correct? That would be correct. If I were you, I would get a new job. That that's correct. Okay. If he if he were younger, because I remember that I always have to use where. I don't know if that's correct. That is if correct. He, on real okay. situations or imaginary. Situations. If he were younger, he would travel more. Very good. Or he yeah. will have travel. No, he, he would travel. Have, he will travel. Okay. There yes. we go. I'm remembering now. All right. Very good. The one that, that, that you are sharing, it is for what? Rachel? Oh, I, I can see now better. Eh. If we, if I had, if I had, I'm in the number four. If I had, if I had enough money, I yes. would buy a big house, right? Yes, that's correct. Yes. Uh, ah, you have them there. Um, so I, I can see. <laughs> not just if you were not from understand. seven to, from six to 15. From six to 15. And in the five, if she weren't always so late, yes, if she, she would be were not, uh huh, were not be, were no, not were, always. Were. If they, uh, if they didn't buy so many clothes, which auxiliary do you use? Let's see. They might. They might have. Oh yes. Yeah. They might have uh, more money if mm -hmm. they uh, mm -hmm. didn't buy so many clothes. Yeah. Okay. Are you guys. Number fourteen. So how many do you have you left? Two. Two. All right. So. We, we would buy a house if we decided to stay here. Correct. Okay. They had, they will have more money if they if they oh. didn't buy so if they, they didn't yes didn't buy so many clothes buy so many clothes mm -hmm. clothes okay we we will come to dinner if we have time she will call him if she had his number 
I think I do. Yes. yes. Okay. That's right. Yes, I have finished. All right, guys. Okay, did we all finish? Yes. Okay, did you. All right, great job. All right, we're going to go back now. All right, guys. So let's see what you guys have. All right. Uh, so what do we have for number six? Let's start with Emer. What do we have for number six? Uh, if we won the lottery, we could travel the world. Okay, we could travel the world or we would travel the world. Very good. Good job, Emer. Karina, what do we have for number seven? Excuse oh, me. you're muted. Sorry. Oh, sorry. If you had a better job, we would be able to buy a new car. Very good. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, Laura, what do we have for number eight? Oh, you're admitted too. Mal de teacher, eh? <laughs> okay. If I could speak perfect English, I would have a good job or I could have a good I could have a good job. All right. Notice, guys, that when we use the if plus, this is plus. All right. We have to use that plus. plus simple, past, right? So if you I can spoke. exactly if we spoke, right? If, if I, spoke, I spoke perfect English, I had a good job. I would, all right? Would, Here I you would have, have a model, right? Would have a good job. Okay, very good. All right, good job, Claudia. I mean, uh, Laura. Uh, Sandra, number nine, Sandra. If we lived in Mexico, we maybe speak Spanish. We maybe speak Spanish. We, we may, may speak Spanish. I'm sorry. We may speak Spanish. Yeah. Okay. Now, the thing here, guys, okay. All right. This is a, you have to use um, models in the past, okay? So, past models. Could. All right. So, yes, could. Could would be okay, right? I could, I could speak Spanish, right? All right. Good job. Uh, Eric, number 10. Number 10, if, if she passed the exam, she would be able to enter university. She would be able. Good job, right? Great, 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 great. Okay. Good job, guys. All right? Number 11, uh, Emer. Stunks. <laughs> Number 11, Emer. <laughs> uh she could be happier if she had more money. She could be happier if she had, good job, had, had more, money. more money. Good job. All right. Uh, next one, Laura. Mal de teacher. We could buy a house. Uh -huh. If if we decided to stay here. Decided to stay here. Good job, Laura. All right, Sandra, number 13. They would have more money if they didn't buy many clothes. If they didn't buy many clothes. Very good. So many clothes, right? Number 14, Eric. Okay. Uh, we could come to dinner if we had time. Okay, if we had time, very good. All right, uh, Carolina. Oh, yeah, number 15, Carolina. She would call him if she had his number. Very good. He, she would call him if she had his number, right? Very good job. All right, applause for you guys. Beautiful job, guys. You are ready to get tens, okay? All right, notice, guys, okay, that the same structure applies for 
when we're using you know, unless or only if or even if, right? The only thing that changes, guys, is that part of the conditional, right? Unless when we talk about exceptions, only if when we talk about the resulters of something, and even if when we talk about surprises, right? Very good, guys. So let's play a game, guys. I have to bring my dice here. So the game that we're going to play, guys, is you have to give me $1 per mistake, OK? <laughs> no, guys, I'll, I'm going to roll a dice, guys, online. You're not going to be able to see my dice. But I have a dice, guys, OK? All right, to prove it, I will share this specific roll ten, thing with ten, you. Well. But yeah, guys, I have, I have a dice, OK? I just want to show you that, okay? Um, so anyways. All right. All right, guys. So what we're going to do, guys, is um, I'm going to I'm gonna roll the dice twice, okay? And whatever number you fall into, that is going to be what you have to complete, okay? So for example, if it is a question, then you have to ask a question, right? It says here, ask a question, got it? If it is if it is a sentence, well, you have to complete the sentence. So let's say that in your first try, you roll a two and you roll a four, right? So we go like two, four. Here, ask a question. So you will have to ask me a question, you know, uh, you have to ask me a question in second conditional or present conditional, right? Now, to ask questions, guys, all right, the structure, did I give you the structure here? Structure, there you go, okay. Yesterday, I gave you the structure for a question, right? So this one is easy, guys. So the only thing that you do here, guys, you change the model. The model go, goes to the beginning because that works as an auxiliary verb, got it? So instead of saying, hey, would you, would you come to the supermarket with me? If I gave you money, right? So the structure is the same as the only thing that changes is the position between the subject and the model verb. Got it? So remember, the model verb, that's how you make questions, okay? Very good. So let's say that uh, Laura falls in, uh, I don't know, four, four, three, right? So four, three would be if you had a 3D printer, okay? All right. So you would ask, okay, Laura would have to ask, hey, what would you do if you had a 3D printer? Oh, if I had a 3D printer, I would print, I don't know, Scarlett Johansson, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Okay, whatever whatever you, you can think about, okay? Any questions, guys? Any questions? Now, we're going to compete, guys. I'm going to give you points, okay? But if you don't give me a right answer, you're not going to get any points. All right. Very good. So I'll start, guys. I'll start from, you know, the first person that I see right at the top. And that will be Emer. okay? So Emer, you know what, Emer? do you have a Dyson line on your cell phone? No? I don't think anybody does. All right, very good. Okay. So you rolled a two. And you rolled a five, okay? So two. Five, two, five is here, okay? So this is Emer, represented by, a, I'm going to write down a P-man. Or, no, actually, that means I, okay? So if you if you wanted to become rich quickly, all right? So ask the question and answer the question. Go ahead. If, if I wanted to be rich quickly. Yes. Okay. If I wanted to be rich quickly, I would. <laughs> Five, I, four. I will become a politician. <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm for Emer. <laughs> See, guys, that's 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 how they start, right? Emer I have first. a dice, teacher. Oh, you have a dice. Oh, there you go. Okay, let's watch Carolina's camera. All right, uh, I think, can I spotlight you forever? I'm going to. Spotlight forever. I'm going to. Let's see. 
All right, can can you all see Carolina, guys? Yes? Yeah. All right, very good. All right, Carolina. All right, next one is Laura, okay? So you got one point, Emer. All right, Laura. Uh, let's go, Carolina. That's a five, okay? Roll it one more time. And that's a, that's a three, very good, okay? So five, three over here. So if you could travel faster than light, Laura. So what would you do if you could travel faster than light? Thank you, Rodina. Okay. Where do you say can see? If you could travel faster than light. Okay, if I could travel faster than light, I will visit to uh, Captain America. Okay, you would visit visit Captain Captain, not Captain, Captain right? Captain America. America. <laughs> Very good, applause for Laura, guys. Good job, all right? Good, good, good job, all right? All right, so point for Laura. All right, but you did, you, you made one mistake though, right? Very small one, but anyways, all right. So Emer, Laura. All right, good job. Next one, we have Sandra. All right, let's roll the dice for Sandra. One. One four, okay, let's see one okay. four. <laughs> All right, so we got. If I could read other other people's minds. If you could read other people's <laughs> minds, okay. Ooh. If I could read other people's minds, I would become girl. crazy. You would become crazy. Okay, very yeah. good. I play a plus for Sandra. I thought that you were gonna say you would read a toxic's mind. No. Right? No. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> All right, very good. All right, so next one, uh, Eric. There's someone, there's some, there's noise in the background. Okay. I don't know who. Anyways, all right, uh, Eric, uh, let's go six. Okay, that's a six. All right. And a five. Okay, six, five. Six. So let's see, six, five, six, five. It, okay, so if you were smarter, than everyone. So what would you do if you were smarter if you were smarter than everyone? If I were smarter than everyone, mm -hmm. I would uh, I wouldn't work. I wouldn't work at all. Nice. That's very smart. Maybe you are, you know. Good job. Plus for Eric. Good job, Eric. All right. <laughs> Galaxy. Very good. Okay. All right, Sabrina, you got one, Eric, you got one. Very good. All right, uh, Claudia, 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 Claudia. Oh, Carolina, I forget about Carolina. All right, Carolina, let's go. Okay, teacher. One. One, six, okay. If you were trapped on an island for 10 years. If I were trapped on an island for 10 years. I will have imaginary friends. <laughs> All right, like, very good. Like, you like the movie, right? Very yes. Good. Okay, good job, All right? All right, very good. Applause for Carolina, guys. Good job, Carolina, All right? Thank All right. you. And Carolina's imaginary friend would be Cheyenne. Well, <laughs> okay, I will. I will. I will be that crazy, you know? So, yes. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, <laughs> good answer. Emer, next one. Let's go. Number, all right, let's go for Emer. Uh, no, uh, again, 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 teacher, sorry. All right. Uh, ah, yes, it was a one. <laughs> all right, a one. One. And a three, okay, one, three. If dinosaurs were still alive, okay, what would you do if dinosaurs were still alive? If dinos, if dinosaurs were still alive? Ah, incorrect. What's up? If dinosaurs, not dinosaurs. Din dinosaurs. Am I right? <laughs> yes, he's right now. Okay. We're still alive. I will run <laughs> for my life. Okay, all right, good job. Plus for him. <laughs> okay, good job, man. All right, very good. All right, good job, Imer. All right, Laura. All right, let's roll the dice for Rolla. I mean, for, for Laura. <laughs> <laughs> it fell. It fell, okay. Uh, it's a number four. It's number four, and what else? 
And the other one is a number two. Okay, number four, number two. Ask a question, Laura. All right, mal the teacher again. Okay, if you were an animal, what animal would you like to be? Very good. Okay, good job. Plus for Laura. Good question, Laura. Good job. Very good. All right, Sandra, next one. Let's go for Sandra. Three. Okay, we got three. And we got three. Three. Okay, three, three. All right. If you had an intelligent robot, if I had an intelligent robot, I would train him to clean the house. You would train it to clean the house. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. Good job. Let's first Sandra. Good job, Sandra. All right. Uh, Eric, let's go. So we have five and six. Okay. Five and six. Five and six. Okay. All right. Hold on. If you could travel, if you could time travel to the past, okay, Eric. So if you could try and time travel to the past. If I could, if I could time travel to the past, I would go to the Jesus time. You would go to oh. Jesus time, okay, all right. Take me with you, Eric. All right, very good, very good, okay, good job. Plus for Eric, good job, guys. Very good, very good, okay. All right, guys. Okay. All right. That was that was a small game, guys, just to break the ice. Do we have any questions? <laughs> All right. Did you like the game? Oh my God, people are speaking. Yes. Yeah, it's nice. Very good. Anyways, guys, um, do me a favor. Okay, we have to we have to complete oh, section. We have to complete section three, guys, before this, this week ends. All right. I mean, if you want to complete the whole platform, that's absolutely fine. But what I want to show you guys is Lovely. Uh, let's say, guys, these few minutes, okay, if we don't finish, that's okay. But I'd like you to start doing the listening exercise right now, okay? Actually, uh, two things, okay? We're going to do uh, the knowledge check, okay? So let's complete the knowledge check right now. And then if you have time, let's do the listening exercise as well, okay? All right? So, uh, let's go. I'm going to recreate the rooms again. All right, guys, let's go. Hello there. Hello there. Hello. Hey, what's up in there? Hello there. <laughs> You're very funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> what is it? Stonks, right? Stonks. Stonks? You didn't know. I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's about something about Wall Street and kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it stunk. <laughs> oh, it's Perfect. funny. All right, so let's uh let's finish the knowledge check, okay? Oh, did you already finish it, guys? Just yeah. one. Oh, you did, Sandra. Yep. Okay, very good. Okay. I just need the three point eight, but I have to. I think, I, think, I think you could teach this topic, guys. I, I feel that confident, you know. I feel so confident that you understood that I think that you could all teach it. What do you think? Would you like to give me a presentation about this topic? <laughs> Which one? Stop. The last one. That would be challenging. <laughs> that would be challenging. Very good. It would be very difficult. It would be very difficult to do. Very, not very. Very. <laughs> Very difficult. <laughs> All right. Oh, the other part. Yeah, uh -huh, this one. one. Uh -huh. The which sentence mean that sounds sound will go. Uh, sentence, imagine some gets an invitation. 
Fue asombroso. Deberías haberlo visto. La próxima vez deberías venir con mi. Así es como se abre una puerta. Oh, I think it is. Por favor, dime que no viste nada. Para que lo miraste bien. A, B, C. I think A, B, C. Te extrañé, amiga. ABC. Uh, mm -hmm. Because the B says, Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. So it means that if you invited, he won't go. Okay. Says that we have to choose the one that he won't. All right. Pronunciation, go, not go. Go. I think it is I would forget that. Go. Right. Which sentence means Sam Hola, ¿qué hizo yo? Hola. ¿Eh? Sí, creo que mejor seguiré caminando. ¿Qué? Uh -huh. ¿Qué ocurre? ¿Tengo aliento? I think it is the B. Oh, someone wouldn't go. go on. Oh, no, no, the letter D, D, the last one. Some wouldn't go even if he was invited. That's for me, but I don't know for you alone. No. Okay, it's like if he were invited. If he, like it says that which one he won't go, and mm -hmm. the D says. Hello there. All right, guys. So you guys. All right. So uh, do my favorite guys. Just finish. If you haven't finished, just go ahead and finish that exercise, and then do the listening exercise as well. Um, you can do that tomorrow if you want. But uh, that's it, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Emer, Laura, Eric, Sandra, Carolina. All right. Thank you for coming, guys. Um, Go to sleep, guys. All right. I'm very tired today. So, okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Right. See you tomorrow. Get some Bye -bye. rest. See you. See ya.